We have got 5% tent from Walmart and we're gonna be installing it today for you guys. But first, let's go pick it up from Walmart. All right, boys, we arrived at the Wally World. We are gonna be heading straight to the auto parts section where we can buy some actual tent for the 7.3 Power Stroke. So we're in the window tent section right now. We've got all sorts of window tent here. I'm definitely gonna to need to get this Black Magic tent film applicant kit. So we're gonna buy this and I'm gonna probably buy two of the window tent sets that they have. Decided to get the 5% tent for the front windows. So you can see like the levels of darkness. We're getting two of them just to be safe. We are also getting this tent application kit because I don't have really hardly anything at home to apply these with. Since this is kind of all I need to apply the film. In total, I think it's gonna be about 30 bucks. I'll update you guys at the register. Oh. So in total with the, for the window tent, it was $33.46. I know if you go to a window tent shop, they're gonna charge you like $500 to do the window tent. So let's see if we can kind of even get the quality to kind of compare. I've never ever even touched window tent before. So we're about to find out if I can do this without any skill at all. Stay tuned. Now that we picked up the product, we got it here. I actually bought two rolls of this. So that way, if we mess up, we have a second backup just in case. $10 tent from Walmart. Is it worth the buy? Let's install it here on the 7.3 Power Stroke. Once again, guys, I have not no tent experience at all. I have never installed tent, never touched tent. I've seen people install it in the past, but right now I have no tent experience at all. And I'm going to be showing you guys as a beginner, can you install the Walmart tent film on your 7.3 power stroke or any car for that matter? So I'm going off of this how-to video on YouTube. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave it down below. I'm going to start off with unrolling the film and getting everything prepped. Actually get your film laid out. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, we gotta be careful here because I don't want to fuck anything up. There's this little tab here, the residue, but he says not to worry about it. Okay, side that has the film on it that you peel off, you can slide around, but the actual film side is sticky. So this is our film side here. Got the black magic kit open here. What the fuck? Empty, so now we gotta fill it up. We gotta mix this bitch. Got a little towel here. We need to keep this nice and clean. Just gonna put that over there. We got our squeegee, so it comes with a little squeegee. And then it also comes with our razor blade, our little box cutter here, cut in and out. We're gonna put that over here. What you actually have to do is take your gel solution and mix it with 16 ounces of water in this. Pretty much all the way full. Now we're gonna take our packet here. So we got the uh, gel in there. The packet was kind of hard to get in there, but uh, we were able to get all of it. Just gonna give it a little shake. Now we should be good. We got the first packet here. It comes with two packets. Film side. Okay, so we're gonna do three inches, three feet, three inches here. That three inches really matters, guys. It doesn't need to be perfect because this is just the initial cut. That. So we got a little bit of extra film. That's why I bought a second one. We were gonna do the video, but uh, it's raining. So what I did, guys, is I pulled my truck into the garage. We had about a quarter inch from the top and bottom. And that is actually the first thing that that guy says on the video is to pull your truck into an enclosed space. So luckily, we got it in my garage here. I'm in my garage. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. <laughs> just kidding. I got it in my garage here, and we are going to be attempting to do the tent here. So hopefully I don't get carbon monoxide poisoning because I had my truck on for a while in here. But we are going to go ahead and roll up the window now. What he basically says to do, we're going to follow the exact instructions like he does. Clean it off first using our microfiber towel. Let's do that right now. So we have got a tight squeeze as you can see here, probably about three feet from the window. My toe mirrors can break away. These will be linked down below by the way. I feel like a fucking badass window tint here though. We fucked her boys. Fuck. Let's give it a good once over like he said here. Open it up here. He says basically just to wipe it off inside the cab, which we've already done, and also wipe off your dash as well. So, actually roll down your window and get up under here. So that you need to take it, roll it down about a little bit right there, and then you're basically just gonna squeegee it here, get all that dust off. Next step is to shape the film. So we're gonna need to get the film now. We roll up the window all the way, so we gotta roll up the window. Now we wanna do the liner side out. So remember guys, how we do that liner side is sticky side is non-sticky side. Okay, so that's the liner side. So wow, that's gonna be damn dark. So we gotta shape it. So I know he says to tack it down. That is gonna be fucking, that is so dark, guys. <laughs> that is so fucking dark. To tack it down, so, oh now, so. Be pretty easy. Damn. 
Are we about to put the window shops out of business, boys? He uses a silver Sharpie. However, we are going to use a yellow Sharpie for this video. I don't have, a, just because I don't have a silver Sharpie. So take our Sharpie and we're basically just gonna push it up. And what he says is to mark it at the butt of the plastic or rubber here. So, all right guys, we got our Sharpie assortment here. Try blue now. I need to, uh, that blue actually pops pretty good. i re-roll this up. I'm gonna redo these here because this, this one didn't really come through that well. Okay, so now I think he, I believe he cuts it now. Take the tent off, that's what he says. Roll the window down, roll the window up. He says that you wanna do three, three blade lengths. The most important step, he said, do not wanna fuck this up. And I'm pretty good at fucking up, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is why we bought two. It's gonna be at the top there. We're gonna squeegee her here. Basically spray it on there, get a good spray. And then it says to wipe it. And then we're gonna go from the top down, that's what he says. To spray the outside here. And he says to be generous with it. So we gonna be generous with it. Now we're gonna spray the outside here. It doesn't, looks like it doesn't do too much. Peel the liner off, moment of truth here. So what he says is to peel it. I'm gonna take this step really slow here because I don't want it to fold over on itself. I like to spray it right here at the top. Now he says two inches from the bottom and then spray. This is the part. Fucking nervous. Oh. Line it up here. at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Damn it. We got it on itself, boys. Son of a fuck. Oh my God. We fucked her, boys. We fucked it big time. Oh my God. God damn it. Uh, back to square one. I'll update you guys whenever we're back to new one. Starting to come along a little bit, boys. I'm not gonna lie, I got a couple creases, a lot of creases in there. I'm just trying to work those out right now, but I did kind of fuck up a little bit and the bottom part is in, isn't on there all the way, so I might uh, just do a little bit of a piece right there. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but it's looking good so far. I'm just gonna keep working it, keep getting those creases out. All right, boys, uh, this is our first attempt. What the hell is even that? She is pretty shitty, so we're gonna rip this off here. Here. I'm gonna attempt it again. I'm gonna attempt it one more time here. I think I had the gel solution wrong, guys. You actually need to put two packets in instead of one. Went ahead and put the other second packet in there. On the video, he's like able to slide it on the window. Whenever I put the tent on there, it's stuck on there. I can't move it. So it's like I only got one shot. I'm gonna rip this one off. Boys, you are not gonna believe it. But we got it on third time's a charm. I have one more left. So we got one more trial run on the next window. But the thing is guys, is we got it perfectly. So it is fully on there. It is fully on there. No creases, no crevices. As you guys can see outside the cab, it looks super good, super nice. All this stuff on the outside is just outside residue that we had. I'm gonna do the other side window and show you how I did it. I did a different method than the how-to video. The how-to video said peel it all the way off and then just stick it on there. But guys, whenever you put it on the window, you cannot slide around. So once it's on there, it's stuck. So what I did is I just peeled back Back an inch of that film and then stuck it on there and taped it all back. I'll show you guys how we do it on the next window. Slowly peeled it down and slowly stuck it on the window. So that seemed to do the trick. So I'm gonna cut the film first because you already saw how to do that. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by my method of just taping it an inch back. So stay tuned. Unless you've been slinging tent for like 25 years, the guy that I was watching the how-to video, you're not gonna be able to do that. There's no fucking way, human possibility that you're gonna be able to do what that guy did first try. What helped me, what really did numbers for me, if the, especially if you're a first time installing this, peeling it back, taping it, and then kind of slowly going down. 
We're gonna throw that hoe up there. That is the other problem I had too, is when I peeled the film all the way back and put it on there, it would crease up together and get stuck. And then I was fucked from there. You're pretty much gotta throw in the towel. Fuck. What the guy says online is that you can get in there with your fingers and, and peel that film back. False, no way. I, I sat there for like 10 minutes trying to peel that film back. What you're gonna do guys, is you're gonna take this razor blade. It might be a little bit sketchy, but this is the only way I found that I can get it off. Uh, is you're gonna take it, you're gonna take your razor blade and you're gonna just find that groove in there. So you're just gonna try to, only way I found to get that film off. See, super easy. It's like seconds you can get that film off. We're gonna put that film down there. Now we're not gonna remove the whole thing. So this is the film that's on there. We're gonna tape it. So we're gonna use scotch tape. I think this is what Walmart does too for their instructions. Now we got that tape on there, we're pretty much set. And we're just gonna tape it along the whole thing. Now, we're not taping the film, guys. We will do that later, but we're gonna take the top part here. Take another piece of tape. Bang, just like that. Bam, just like that. Remember guys, we don't wanna go more than an inch right there. Take our tape, pull it back, peel it back, tape it. And now, so you guys, you're taping it to the same film. So when you pull the film off, the tape will go with it. You don't gotta peel any tape off. Uh, so tape, tape. What we're gonna do now is remove the top tapes, pull it off, and then we're gonna go ahead and stick it on the window. It's super wet here. We're going to take our tent here. Now, the thing, good thing about this, you don't have to be as careful with it because I'm gonna get it perfect, guys. So this is how you're gonna do it. This is the part that has to be absolutely perfect, guys. So uh, work this a little bit here. So I will update you guys when I get this top part on. The whole entire top part on here, it's pretty much, as you guys can see, very minimal wrinkles on the top. With that film right there, I can squeeze you down as well and get the wrinkles out. So you have two different ways out here. And we're basically just gonna squeegee that entire top part out. off officially. I'll catch up with you guys. I'm gonna squeegee it out here, finish it up, and then I'll catch up with you guys when we're done. That's basically a full time lapse of everything pretty much here. We are fully finished with the install here. I might touch up a little bit after this video, but this window looks pretty good. This is the driver's side window. As you guys can see, a little bit of bubbles, not too bad. This is, remember guys, this is a full beginner install. So y'all guys gotta cut me a little bit of slack here. This window is a little bit worse, lots of bubbles. I am gonna work on this one after the video. It's not too, too bad. It could be a little bit better. So I'm gonna actually show you guys inside now. It is so much darker than it was before. Oh. Holy shit, boys. It is so freaking dark in here. 5% tent. Honestly, the front ones, I fucked up. I was supposed to get 20%, but I fucked up and got 5%. Fortunately, the front ones are darker than the back ones. Anyways, I'm gonna start off the truck here. We are inside the garage right now, so it's obviously gonna be a little bit darker. I want the lights to shut off. Look how dark it is in here, guys. So freaking dark. I'm gonna pull it out of the garage now for you guys. Gotta be careful here. I literally, I cannot see a damn thing. Uh, but I'm gonna look at it tomorrow. I might squeeze you out a little bit more when it's nice and dry. You can see here, tent is on. As you guys can see, it's pretty much the same darkness as the back one. This one looks pretty good, but this one over here, not too much. I mean, it's not too bad. I could probably squeeze, I'm gonna squeeze you out some of that. Other than that, it's pretty cracky, pretty shitty. Now, further down the line, I am gonna buy some better window tent and I'm gonna get it professionally installed. That'll probably be in like a month or so. I'm gonna rock this for about a month, see how it does, and then we'll take it off or move it around from there. 5% on. But as you guys can see in here, super freaking dark. I'm super happy with what it turned out to be, even though it's not the best job and beginner job. By no means, guys, this is a how-to video. This is more of a beginner install kind of video to show you guys the honest review of installing window tent because the guy that I saw, he just bang, bang, done, just like that. So YouTube versus reality is two different things things that how-to video he made it look so easy so much easier than it actually is it took me three tries for this window and then one try for that one now i know what i'm doing i could probably do it a lot better again the good thing about this tank guys is if i get pulled over i can just rip it right off <laughs> and if you guys like badass truck content you can watch more up here or down there subscribe down below and peace out